Hey, what's up? The Brew Dude's back here with another beer. We have the Dude's Brewing Com Company Schnitz and Giggle. It's a Martzen style beer. All right, I know we're in November. Actually, December. Man, these months are just going by. Um, but I still have this Oktoberfest beer. I bought a, I think it was like, they sell four packs. So I bought about eight of them. And I think this is probably my last one left. So I decided to do a review on it so you can check it out. And maybe you can look forward to it for next year. Schnitz and Giggle is a, uh, inspired by a true German Oktoberfest style beer. Okay, it uses a lot of uh, German specialty malts. Uh, also with German style hops. One pint, 4.8% by volume. They do spend a lot of... That's one thing I noticed about uh, the Dude's Brewing Company. They spend a lot of time wrapping their cans. Look at that. That's a nice little... Uh, design on there if you see the boots filled with beer got a nice dudes brewing company glass you probably see it a lot on my other videos i used to have a lot of glasses a lot of uh glassware but i moved and a lot of it got anyway let's move forward enough with the sadness let's get with the happy beer tasting all right with the pour Nice, deep, clear, amber brown with a little reddish hue color. Nice noble hops, a little bit roasty, roasty. I can smell the little sweetness and a little toastiness of the German uh, malts. It says German specialty malts. I'm not sure exactly what they use, Munich malts or anything, but it doesn't smell like your traditional two row. This one has a sweet, toasty characteristic to it that you can't get from the pale US two row. A little bit raisiny, slight, light caramel, grainy for sure. Almost like a sour bread rather than just like a white bread. A little musty just a bit from the grains. Noble hops in the background. Just add that little spicy note to it. Uh, the head was there. It's kind of almost gone. Deep amber red brown color. Kind of copperish. Um, looks like a wonderful color. I filled this bad boy to the rim. Now it's time to do the little the taste, right? It's a lot all about the taste. It's all about the taste, about the taste. That is good. Schnitz and giggle, huh? That was a good taste. That was a good tasting Oktoberfest beer. Uh, one thing is 4.5% alcohol. That way you can drink a few. Okay? You can drink several. I visited some local Oktoberfest, you know, little um, festivals. Some are good, some aren't. Some just give you some strong ass beers and all this stuff. You drink one or two and then you're just like can't enjoy the rest of everything. Or you see a bunch of people acting fools. This here, you can drink this. The flavor that you're getting just from the beginning is I'm not getting anything bitter. I'm not getting no bitter at all. If anything, I'm getting these noble hops just to add a little spice and a little bit of extra, I don't even want to call it citrus, but some kind of citrus spice notes to it. The grain is just carrying the whole thing here. Very watery at the beginning. Uh, very clean, crisp, and watery. Uh, Mid-range, you're going to get this nice, I don't even call it toasty, but it's almost like a sourdough bread, uh, sweet not even, not too sweet though, just some kind of sweet note with a sourdough bread style uh, breadiness about mid-range. 
and then it just ends off nice and almost just a slight caramel and clears out with a nice almost earthy flavor but the beer is completely just throughout the whole uh, experience is pretty earthy what I mean by earthy is um, just like the grains are just almost woody uh, bready sourdough is slight must and we're not getting these overpowering hops we're just getting them as noble spice added uh, hop to it bitterness very very low I'm not even getting almost anything definitely a beer that you can have definitely a beer you can enjoy more than once you know you could probably have a few in like you know the amount of time that you drink your regular beers and you'll be completely fine the second one here I'm getting I don't want to take away from the hops but I'm getting just a slight bit of um the uh, the hop bitterness just right after mid-range but it's very very low and it just it shows its head and says hops and then it just disappears but it's good man this is a, a definitely a beer that I would get again and I would enjoy and if I ever had some kind of get together like an Oktoberfest this definitely is gonna be in there the Dudes Brewing Company Torrance California Schnitz and Giggle Martin style beer 4.8 percent alcohol by volume early I think I said 4.5 4.8, made in Los Angeles County, one pint, <laughs> comes in a four pack, I think they sell it individually in some stores as well, uh, definitely a beer to get, I recommend it, share with your friends, thanks again for watching, and with that said, the Brew Dude is out.